If you are an online teacher and follow the online teaching world, you may have noticed that there's one company that has really taken the online teaching world by storm, and this company is OutSchool. And you may be wondering if OutSchool is a good fit for you, if you would enjoy teaching with OutSchool, and what the benefits would be for adding them on as another company. So I'm here to help you determine if OutSchool is a good company for you to work for and what the benefits are with working at OutSchool. Hi for anyone that's new, my name is Jenna Lee from liveeatteach.com and in my channel I update you weekly on the online teaching world and building your own business and help you become your own boss. So if you're interested in content like this, subscribe below so you don't miss a video. I've been working with OutSchool for around six or seven months and now I feel like I have a great grasp of OutSchool as a company and I have so many pros and cons to OutSchool and I want to share those with you to help you determine if this is a good company fit for you. Now before I start my list, I just want to put this out there that I may be biased because I love OutSchool. This company has done wonders for me. It was a slow start at first, but now that I'm at the six, seven month mark, I'm really picking up on OutSchool and it's becoming more of a full time opportunity for me. So I really love it and I hope that you can join me on OutSchool as well. But this is also for you to determine if this is a right fit for you. One of the best pros about OutSchool is that you can earn up to $100 an hour teaching online or even more. So the reason why you're earning so much is because you can choose your class size and you can go pretty much up to 12 students per class and then you charge students an in individual rate. So for one of my classes, which is beginner violin, I'm charging about $10 an hour, which is kind of the average rate on OutSchool. If I have $10 an hour and I let six students sign up, that will be $60 an hour. But then you have to account for OutSchool taking 30% of your pay to market your classes. So then I wouldn't be getting $60 an hour. I would be getting 70% 70 of $60. That being said, there are many teachers that with the percentage taken out, they are still making $100 an hour and they make that on a daily basis. So it is definitely doable depending on the type of class you have. If you even want that many students in your class and how much you're charging for each individual student. Apart from money, on L School you can teach what you want. You are planning your own classes, which might be a con for some, but you can create your own classes and the topics that you teach about. So for me, I love to sign songs in American Sign Language and I teach that specifically on Out School. It is such a joy for me to teach that class, so I really love that I can teach anything I want. On OutSchool, you also do not need a degree to apply and be hired with the platform. They accept people without a degree as long as you have teaching experience in the subject that you are going to teach on OutSchool. When I say teaching experience, I don't mean you have to have formal classroom teaching experience. This can be any experience that would be validated as teaching experience. If you did any tutoring, any small group teaching, or if you worked with kids and taught them something in educational setting, then this would be teaching experience. Along with that, you don't need any type of certification to teach with OutSchool. So if for instance, with VIP Kid and GoGo Kid, my other two companies, you need a TESOL certification at least or a TEFL, and you need that in order to be able to be hired onto the platform. But with OutSchool, you don't need any degree or any certification. Another pro with OutSchool is that you can choose the age range that you would like to teach and the age range that you are most successful with. And I think this is a great pro. When I was teaching in a public school setting, there were some ages that I was working with that I was like, maybe this isn't the right fit for me. But with OutSchool, you can choose. So that takes away the stress of trying to teach to an age range that you're not the best fit with. Okay, so I needed to pull up the information on this, but I wanted to give you the full details on the countries that OutSchool hires. So OutSchool hires people from the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, 
England or Wales and other UK countries do not apply at this time specifically. So another pro to OutSchool is that they accept a lot more countries than some of the other online ESL companies that are out there today. My last pro for now is that with OutSchool, it seems that there are not as many changes on a consistent basis compared to the other companies that I work for. When I talk about changes, I'm just talking about changes in policy, how that affects you and incentives and things. You just have more control over your finances, your schedule. I mean, you're setting your own rate and you also teach your own classes. All of this really compiles up and allows OutSchool to not make a lot of changes to their policy. If you currently work for OutSchool, can you comment below and let us know what your favorite part about working for OutSchool is so that people who are watching this video can sift through and learn and see real people commenting about their experience with OutSchool. So now I'm going to go through my list of cons with you. If you are excited and ready to apply to OutSchool, you should know that many applicants have to redo their application and their video. OutSchool is picky about the applicants that they hire. They usually will hire applicants that will redo their video a few times. It is not very common for applicants to pass their application or classroom video the first time. So that is something that you can prepare for and know that they probably won't accept you the first time and get you hired right away, it might take some time to get hired in the first place. So that is one of my cons. My second con is that hours are not guaranteed without school. Now hours are not guaranteed at most companies, especially the ones that I work for, but I do find that they are a little bit more consistent and reliable with the other companies I work for, especially when just getting started out. Take for instance, with my experience, I have worked without school for six months now and my hours have just started to become a little bit more consistent. It definitely takes a lot more time and effort to have those guaranteed hours that are from building up your student base. And along with that, one of my cons is that getting the schedule that you want will take time for most people hired on without school. There are always the few that are able to be teaching part-time to full-time hours within a month or two, but that is not for everyone. Your ideal schedule will take time to create. Teaching without school is also a learning curve. It takes a lot more thought and planning. It does take more work and more effort than teaching ESL online, but it's definitely worth the benefits for me. Something that was a real learning curve for me is that I had to really niche down on out school, which means I had to choose a subject and try to just stick to one, right? And then just teach that and try to create multiple classes that I could funnel students into that they would love to take again and again. This is something that was a real learning curve for me and took time to learn. A con for some people is going to be that you must make your own lesson plans and be creative with that. For me, I like to make lesson plans and I love being creative with them, but for some people, they just don't want to spend that extra time and effort doing that, or maybe they just don't enjoy creating lesson plans. Another con with out school is that when you are first getting started, you may teach class for not very much money, especially if you only have one student sign up and that's a $10 per student class and you want to really build up your student base, you definitely want to continue to teach that student, but you're only going to get $7 because you get that 70% of $10. At the beginning, you may not be taking away as much money as you ideally want to make. And the last con that I have for out school is that with more and more teachers coming in, it is so much more important now to really stand out and have your profile and class listing and picture for your class really stand out to market yourself. One thing I want to say about out school, and it might sound cheesy, but it really is about the journey more than the destination. Learning all of these skills, how to market yourself, how to make your class stand out, how to create lessons, 
students, how to sell your course to students is really going to allow you some valuable skills that no one can take away from you. It might be frustrating at the beginning that you're not getting your ideal schedule, that you're not getting your ideal financial goals met, but you are learning a lot about the online teaching business and really how to market yourself. Now that you know my pros and cons for OutSchool, does this still feel like a good fit for you? Do you want to get hired with OutSchool? If so, I'm a hiring coach for OutSchool. If you use my email below to contact me, I can definitely help you get hired with OutSchool. You can also use my referral link below to go straight to OutSchool and have me add it on as your coach. And I would love to help you through this. OutSchool has been invaluable to me and it continues to give me more and more freedom and flexibility and I'm really benefiting from it. I hope that you decide OutSchool is the right choice for you because it really does give you the independence as an online teacher that you deserve. If you enjoyed this content and thought it was valuable to you, go ahead and give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below and I will see you next time.